continuing with our compositing, we are going to do this on After Effects. We already rendered different passes for the sky. There. What is this? All right, so what we find is that whenever you're using wiggle bones, you need to bake the action before actually doing the render. Otherwise, your geometry will deform with this um, jello kind of effect from the wiggly bones on the armature. So you can bake the action by yourself manually, okay? Only, only selected bones, in this case for the hair, because those are the wiggly bones. And the bake data for pose will bake it to those bones or those rigs specifically. An object, it's all of the deformations that you may have that you would want to bake. But in our case, it's just bones, so pick pose. So click OK, it's going to bake. That's one method, as you can see, if you select one of the um, hair bones, you're going to see all of the actions already baked frame to frame. This is nice. Now remember, this is the old blender. We have new baking methods in the new blender. So here we go again in 290X. I'm going to select one of the wiggly bones and I'm going to come here to the properties over here on this um, uh, little bone icon. You're going to scroll down to wiggle bone and down here the settings present to you the option to select the wiggle bones, all of the wiggle bones inside the armature that you have. Now you can click on bake wiggle and what that it's going to do is to bake every wiggle bone to its own action so that you can uh, render without any kind of problems like we saw before. Now don't be impatient, please do not be impatient, uh, don't panic. This is just normal procedure, okay? Blender is going to do heavy calculations if you have your uh, objects with subdivisions and stuff. So here we go, we have everything baked and the hair looks awesome. This is going to work, of course, once we re-render this entire sequence, as you can see right here. So we go back to After Effects and you can refresh. So, Or also you can render from the viewport and now this horrendous thing will be a magnificent, beautiful Cupid character. Look at that. The out of focus is done in Blender and this is the sequence separated uh, from the birds and from the background. Look at that. It's fantastic. And here we go. We can continue to, compo to do the composite, the lights and other integrations as well. This is the finished effect for this shot. Look at that, it works out of the box, perfect.